Today we're going to be doing another video on the Dodge Ram 1500 2003. We're going to be doing some more checks on that EVAP system. If you're getting the code P0442, P0440, uh, P0456, we're going to go over a couple of things uh, that can be causing that problem. We're going to do a quick check of the purge valve solenoid. And again, this is on the 2003 Dodge Ram 1500. As you can see, it's not the average uh, Ram 1500. We got the uh, custom shifter put in this thing. We got the Pioneer system as well as the push start. We got the fuel air ratio gauge as well as the viper pedals. Kind of go off subject for a minute. We got two 1000 watt arc audio amplifiers in here crossovers under the seat a lot of this stuff we patterned off of my viper truck all the way down to the hood scoop got the american racers on there the tailpipes are the same we got the same exhaust system as the viper so um but that's enough about this and we can pop the hood and go ahead and get straight into the video what we're trying to do now is we're just going to test the uh purge valve solenoid up front that's located right here uh, below the battery box and you'll see it down there hiding and now what we're going to do is we're going to back probe it go all the way up behind the intake that hose right here and it runs from the back of the intake all the way back over to the purge valve solenoid which is down there so we're going to take that hose off sit it down right there we're going to plug that in the um in the vacuum line and then we're going to put about 15 inches of vacuum on that and see if it holds and that'll at least tell us from this point up to the purge valve solenoid whether or not if we have a vacuum leak up in that area and uh, right now we seem to be holding pretty well. So we're going to go on to the next thing and let this sit for a while while we back probe it. And as long as this thing is sitting, we know we're doing good. But when we back probe it and we put power to it, that vacuum is going to drop if the solenoid is working correct. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to back probe purge valve solenoid. Uh, since I don't have my white probe, I'm going to use my black and go into the white wire here. And that's going to go to my ground. I'm going to sit that there. And I'm going to use my red probe and go to the red wire on the purge valve solenoid. Uh, we're going to go here and ground it. And then what we're going to do, here's the test. This is still holding that 15 inches of vacuum. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap this on the power and that pressure should drop as soon as it touches if that solenoid is working correct. And there it did, it went back to zero. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna put about 15 inches of vacuum on there. And as soon as we touch the uh, power on this, that vacuum should release if that solenoid is working correct. And there it is. So we know at this point we don't have a vacuum leak between the intake manifold and the purge valve solenoid. Next step would be the check from the purge valve solenoid going back to the charcoal canister. 